Welcome to today's video tutorial on how to tile a kitchen backsplash. A well-designed backsplash can enhance the beauty and functionality of your kitchen. In this step-by-step -step guide, we will show you the process of tiling a backsplash from preparation to completion. Let's get started. Before we begin, let's gather the necessary tools and materials. You'll need these items. It is important to take the time to do some preparation. This will ensure that the project goes as smoothly as possible and that you are happy with the end result. First, make sure your kitchen wall is clean, dry, and free from any grease or debris. Now, measure the area you'll be tiling and mark the center line to ensure a symmetrical layout. Now that you have prepared everything you can start installing the tile. Follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to use the mortar. Start by applying a thin layer to the wall from the starting point using a trowel. Remember to apply mortar to a maximum 3 times 3 feet area at one time to prevent it from drying out. Place the first tile onto the mortar, starting from the bottom at the starting point, and continue laying the tiles outward and upward according to the predetermined pattern. Cut tiles are inevitable. Cut border tiles as needed to fit around outlets and corners. You should install the border tile using the same mortar and process as the main tile. If you are wondering how to choose the right tile cutting tool for your project, you can find a link to our article in the video description. This article provides a detailed explanation of each tool, helping you make an informed decision. Edge trim is a type of trim piece used to finish the edges of a kitchen backsplash. To install edge trim measure the length of the opening or backsplash end run where it will be installed. Cut it to size then apply a small amount of tile adhesive to the back of the edge trim and carefully place it. Clean the gaps between the tiles using a utility knife and cloth of any thinset mortar before it cures to allow space for grouting. Wait 12 to 24 hours for the mortar to dry before removing all the spacers and then clean the tile with a damp cloth. Mix the grout according to the manufacturer's instructions and spread it diagonally over the tiles with a grout float. Wait at least 24 hours for the grout to dry. Then apply grout sealer to the grout lines to protect them from moisture and staining. If you missed any excess grout in the space between the top or bottom of the backsplash along the walls, remove it now. Once the area is clear of any excess grout, fill the gap with caulk or silicone sealant. As the last step, consider installing electrical extenders. Replace the outlet and switch plate covers and in there you have it, a beautiful, professionally tiled kitchen backsplash. The transformation is truly stunning, and it adds a touch of elegance to your kitchen space. That's a wrap for today's video on how to tile a kitchen backsplash. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and feel inspired to take on this project yourself. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.